Hello dear students and welcome back. How are you? I hope you are okay by the grace of God. In last three classes I took narration step by step and today also I, I will take a lesson on narration, exclamatory sentence and optative sentence. Here you will learn the definition of uh, exclamatory and optative and I'll try my best to give you all the rules and structures with examples. Let's get started. Narration, exclamatory sentence and optative sentence. First you will learn uh, the definition of uh, exclamatory sentence. Exclamatory sentence and exclamatory sentence expresses state of joy, sorrow or wonder. Okay. So uh, it's easy uh, to remember an exclamatory sentence uh, that expresses joy, sorrow, wonder, anger, um, grief, uh, uh, hatred uh, is called an exclamatory sentence. So uh, we see the example of it and in a, a couple of uh, uh, classes back I taught you uh, what is EG stands for. EG stands for exactly gratia. Uh, it is in Latin words and Latin abbreviations and English example. So hooray, I won the competitions. The sentence expresses joy. Uh, alas, I couldn't pass the exam. The sentence expresses sorrow or sadness. Um, wow, what a beautiful scene. That sentence uh, that expresses wonder or surprising. Exclamatory sentence. To change them into indirect speech, you have to use some specific words, uh, especially. Uh, you see, exclaim with joy when you find uh, happiness in uh, reported uh, uh, speech. Exclaim with sorrow when you find reported speech uh, sadness. Exclaim with wonder when you find uh, surprising in reported speech. Exclaim with avarice. Avarice means hatred. So when you find uh, the sentence that express hatred, you have to write exclaim with uh, avarice. Exclaim or cried out, don't write with uh, wonder or sorrow or uh, avarice. You have to write only uh, exclaim and cried out. That's a different kind of a sentence for you. Uh, I will teach you uh, with some examples and a structure later on. Let's see the uh, example with the uh, rules. Tintin said to me, Wow, you have got a beautiful car. So, Wow expresses here, explain with joy when you turn into uh, uh, indirect space. Um, say to will get omitted and you have to write exclaim with joy. Tintin exclaim with joy, you actually me uh, indicate here so it turns into uh, I so um, the answer uh, will be Tintin exclaim with joy that I have turned into God uh, had uh, have turned into had and got a beautiful curve so finally uh, we have got the answer Tintin exclaimed with joy that I had got a beautiful cat. That's it. See the next word. Adam said to Lucy, Alas, you have failed again. So, Alas exclaimed you for, for Alas, you have to use exclaim with sorrow. Uh, Adam exclaimed with sorrow and you actually do see so you can see from Lucy you have to bring and have turned into had Adam exclaimed with sorrow 
that Lucy had failed again. So finally, uh, you will see your the answer if you guess before me. Adam exclaimed with sorrow that Lucy had failed again. That's it. Jack said to her, "Fine, you are a thief." So "fi" indicates uh, or expresses uh, abhorrence. I told you abhorrence is a, is a word that means hatred. So um, Jack explained with abhorrence that, and "you" actually indicates uh, her. She turned into she. You can see she. Uh, and was or will be was she was a thief so I'm saying the answer again Jack is claimed with average that she was a thief finally you can see the answer Jack is claimed with average that she was a thief that's the answer Eva said, what a pity, and what a pity, actually it is an incomplete sentence, so uh, for the pity you have to, uh, pity is a noun, you have to use uh, great, uh, this is actually a different kind of a sentence, um, uh, already you got those, those uh, sentences are really different from this one, uh, you have to remember, uh, for the noun, you have to use great, and for the adjective, you have to use very. And here, you use only exclaim, not to you, don't you, uh, you cannot use exclaim with joy, exclaim with sorrow, exclaim with reverence. Uh, you cannot use them here. So, you use this Eva exclaimed, and since it is uh, in complete sentence, you have to uh, uh, think or you have to imagine that uh, what is, is written with this. What a pity it is. It is just, you just think, um, it is just to make a complete uh, sentence, but you, uh, the, it is, is not given, uh, it own given uh, in, in, in the sentence. Eva, Explain that it was. I'm saying again, Eva explained that it was a great pity. So I'm saying the answer for you. Eva explained that it was a great pity. So see the answer. Eva explained that it was a great pity. This is, this is completely different for you uh, from those uh, uh, examples what I gave you uh, in uh, before slides. James said, good gracious, what a huge snake. Good gracious, yeah, you have to bring this wonder because you're surprised that that's why you use good gracious and you have to write uh, exchange explain with wonder that it's also in complete sentence you have to bring it was a huge snake you no need to bring any great or very in front, in front of etc or something that because you use wonder in here let's see the answer again James explained with wonder that it was a huge snake let's see the answer James explained with wonder that it was a huge snake after two sentence, let's uh, hear uh, about the definitions. The sentence which expresses a prayer, king wish, curse, etc. is, is called an after the sentence. 
So remember that the sentence that expresses prayer, wish or curse. This kind of sentence generally starts with may and wish. Sometimes may remains hidden. Reporting verb, you have to uh, use pray or wish. Mother said to Jerome, May God recover you soon. Here you, you follow the structure subject plus trade plus that plus subject, and this subject taken from reporting space mind plus based on the verb plus extension. So, according to the structure, if you write mother is used as a subject and say to will get rid of it so you have to use prayed that subject subject got and may turn into might and the base form of the verb recover and you 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 see you who is you, you is a Jerom. So Jerom Su. So uh, let's see the answer again. Mother prayed that God might recover Jerom Su. Let's see the answer. Mother prayed that God might recover Jerom Su. The teacher said, May God. Pardon this senior. You can see the structure subject plus trait plus that plus subject, and that is taken from reporting speech plus might plus based on the verb plus extension. The C said turn into trait. So the teacher prayed that God might pardon and this turn into that senior so i'm saying the answer for you the teacher prayed that god might pardon that senior finally you have put the answer the teacher prayed that god might pardon that senior father said to angela may you shine in light Let's see the structure. Subject plus wish plus that. Subject is father. Father wish that you actually uh, indicates Angela. You can see you, Angela. So Angela might shine in life. I'm saying the answer for you. Father wish that Angela might shine in life. Father wish that Angela might shine in life. So let's see your answer. Father wish that Angela might shine in life. So boys, uh, that is uh, all for today. Uh, I hope uh, you enjoy this class and I believe you that you will practice a lot from your textbooks, uh, especially the exercise you practice them. And um, thank you for watching this. Bye bye.